What is up, guys? Mickle here, and today we're talking about Astra stock. After my video yesterday, I had to do a follow up video on Astra stock where I called out Denside for his $1 million bet on Astra stock. Just to make it clear, I'm not an Astra hater. I just completely do not agree with ever making a position like Astra the size he has made it, and that's really what I'm calling out. If you want to see more videos on Astra and other stocks I just talk about on this channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below what you think of this company. So let's jump right into it and start talking about Astra stock. Just so you guys know, Astra stock did fail its launch yesterday. It the rocket never got off the ground, and the stock is down now down nine percent after hours. They are launching again today, so hopefully that goes well because we would hate to see another launch fail. Um, I did find some more stuff on Astra stock that really made me even more bearish on the stock, which uh, I didn't think was really possible, but uh, it's not looking good for me and my opinions on Astra. Uh, one of the things I learned when I was doing some more research is um, Astra really can only launch rockets at about 100 pounds. Uh, it wants to increase this load number, but that's where they're at right now. Um, I think that's very limiting for what they want to do. They claim that they uh, the reason they want this is because they want to do a bunch of little launches. But what shipping, I mean, essentially Astra's a shipping industry, shipping to space. What shipping industry chooses to ship a, a bunch of tiny little shipments rather than doing mass quantity? Honestly, really none do that, and there's reasons for it, and it's because it's way less efficient. So I, I was skeptical enough when I saw this, and the space launch sector is already a very niche market. So the more you limit yourself in this market, the less and less market share you're going to have. What I'm going to show you is that even in this small uh, small payload category, Astra is still in essentially not the number one spot and still has fierce competition. And that's only in their small, uh, small payload uh, segment as well. They have tons of other competitors with bigger payloads. Uh, I just wanted to point out this in their investor presentation. Uh, that number I pulled up is actually backed up by uh, themselves. They say right here that uh, they are looking to be in the uh, small payload launches where they actually don't show what they're even capable of, which is weird. They show all their competitors. But, I mean, you see... Uh, the larger competitors are all, all right here, and they're trying to say they're in a class of their own, but I mean, from what I saw, Rocket Labs and Virgin Galactic are, are pretty similar, in a pretty similar class. Um, you have companies like SpaceX that are able to do uh, 140,000 pounds, and Astra can do 100. Like, do that what you will, but that seems limiting to me. Um, yeah, another thing that I th thought was pretty critical to point out is Astra was founded in 2016, and um, so because so other companies like Rocket Labs uh, and Virgin Orbit took close to 10 to 11 years to get a rocket into orbit. SpaceX holds the record with launching a rocket into orbit in six years and four months. Currently, Astra, if they got one of their rockets today or tomorrow, say yesterday was successful, they would have been the fastest company to get a rocket into orbit by two years. So is Astra's technology really that much better than SpaceX? I don't know. They're doing lighter rockets, so maybe it's easier, but they would still be breaking the record by miles if they were to launch a rocket by uh, in four years into orbit. This is absolutely massive because according to their current investor presentation, they expect three launches into orbit with revenue this year. If they were to do it this year, they would be blowing companies like Rocket Labs and SpaceX and Virgin, uh, Virgin Orbit out of the water. So 
what I'm trying to point out is this this three launches realistic or is this more of a speculative pipe dream and really they're looking more of these three launches in 2023 or even 2024 if this happened this would be devastating for the stock don't get me wrong on that one because they are currently making no money and losing 30 million dollars a quarter this this is so scary to me because if they can't get this rocket into orbit then their entire business model is going to be drastically pushed back and I think it's going to create massive problems for the share price because you're not going to have any news coming out of this company with any money except for launches getting pushed further and further back. I personally really hope they are able to get one of these rockets into orbit. I know their test window closes in September, but every launch that fails, slowly and slowly, these these launch uh, predictions get pushed back further and further, and so does the revenue. Without revenue, I don't know how much longer this company lasts. The last thing I want to get into is say Astra even does get a successful launch into orbit, where does that rank them in terms of competition? Well, we already looked at their own investor presentation, and you can tell this isn't uh, this is a crowded group of uh, companies. Um, let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say that them, Rocket Labs, and Virgin Orbit are really doing stuff completely different than the medium and heavy competitors. Because I don't really believe that Astra is really going to be that much differentiated from Rocket Labs and Virgin Orbit. If you look at Rocket Labs and Virgin Origin, uh, Orbit's websites, they essentially say they're looking to attack the same market as Astra. So let's put those three together and then leave the rest of them out of it. Well, Virgin Orbit already has two successful lights flights and have launched 17 satellites into orbit. Rocket Labs has had tw flown 21 times with 18 successes. These companies are already very far ahead of Astra in terms of the amount of flights they've done. That means Astra is essentially in third place or last place on the competitors they mention in their own investor presentation. Not only that, it would be record breaking if they were to get a launch in the next two years. So I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that you need to love the technology and think they're doing something amazing for them to pull this off. I don't really see that. I don't really see it, but we're going to find out later today if they are able to launch this rocket. I am rooting for them because if they need to get one of these in the air if they're going to come close to meeting their investor presentation. The SEC has came out and said a lot of SPACs are putting out ridiculous investor presentations that look a lot better on paper and will be hard to pull off in real life. I'm not saying this is Astra, but if they're not able to get any revenue uh, in 2021, well... I'm going to be very worried about the rest of these launches going forward. Um, if I was buying Astra stock, I would only have maybe a quarter position built right now, and I would be waiting for all-time lows or lower prices, assuming that it's going to take them a while to get these launches straight. Anyway, guys, for now, I'm going to cut this video off here, and Mickle out.